Hey guys, it's Delina. Today I'll be showing you guys how to create the perfect Valentine's Day look including makeup ideas, three different hairstyles that I think will be perfect for this day, and last but not least, a little outfit to inspire you guys as well. So to start off, I always clean my face with the Maybelline Clean Express Makeup Remover. And I'm going to use my little Ariel from the Little Mermaid towel to wipe it all off. And next, I'm going to use the Nuance Salma Hayek Acne Treatment Moisturizer, which I've been using recently. And to be honest, it helps so much. I have seen less acne over the few weeks I've been using it, and I just love it. So I'm just going to let that dry out a little bit, but then use the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion on my face. Because every girl needs a moisturizer face in the morning, no exceptions. Next, I'm going to use the Yves Saint Laurent concealer around my eyes, dark circles, and to cover up the acne on my face. The color of this is number three, and just blend it out with my beauty blender like I always do. Now, I'm going to use an Yves Saint Laurent foundation. I don't know what color it is, but it's like a beigey color. Put that on my face and just spread it all out again with a brush. Summertime, summertime sadness keeps me up before you go. Now I'm going to use Bare Minerals Powder Foundation, top it all off, and the color is Warm Beige. Now to make my cheeks all rosy and pretty, I'm going to use the Yves Saint Laurent Blush Variation Compact. Now eyebrows are very important to me, so I'm going to use the Chanel Double Effect Eye Pencil on my eyebrows to make them pop, bold, and stand out. So that my eyeshadow stays on all day, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Primer Potion on my eyelids. Also using Urban Decay's Naked Eyeshadow Palette, we're going to use Sin as the base. And then for that, we're going to use Toasted on the outer corners. Thirdly, we're going to use a little bit of Half Baked on your lid. And last but not least, we're going to use Smog on the outer corner of your eyes as well. Also, don't forget to blend your eyeshadow as well. Now we're going to curl our eyelashes. I'm using the Elf Eyelash Curler. Next, we're going to use the Benefit They're Real mascara on your eyelashes as the base. Also don't forget to put mascara on your lower lashes and also on the outer corners of your eyes. Now use the Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline on your eyelashes as your second coat. Just to make them a little darker and longer and we'll have more volume. Now use the Master Precise Eyeliner by Maybelline. I'm just do simple eyeliner on my eyes. Nothing fancy, just simple eyeliner. For my lips, I'm going to use a lip balm called Sugar to make them soft and smooth because you never know who you're going to kiss on Valentine's Day. So basically for my lips, I'm going to use everything pink. Now finally onto hair. This is going to be the first hair I'm going to show you guys. So basically it's a side braid with a cute little headband on top. You're going to start braiding your hair on the side. And then after that, you're going to tie it up with a little ponytail. And when you're done with that, try to loosen up your braid so it looks like a messy braid instead. Last but not least, add a little cute headband on top to accessorize your hair, and then you're done! Start with the second hairstyle, make your hair into a sleek ponytail on top. And then, if you have a donut bun, put it in your hair. But if you don't, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> You can make a sock bun out of it if you look online, but if you have a donut bun, put it on your hair and spread it out all over so it's covering the whole donut bun. Once your hair is evenly into place, you want to take a hair tie and wrap it all over your hair. Now take the rest of the remaining hair and wrap it all around the hair tie so you can't see it. And then if you have any hair clips or bobby pins, which are preferred, Place it in your hair so that it won't get loose and make sure that it's likely visible. Now to make your hair less boring, put a cute little bow on top and then your hair is finished. So for the last hairstyle, you want to put your hair on the side and part it down on the side as well. Then take one strand from the front and put it to the back and place it with the bobby pin so it's secured in place. But before you do that, try to braid that little strand before you pin it to the back so it looks a little nicer and a little more creative. Now you're going to curl all your hair and try to make the curls look long and big and not little tiny skinny curls because that will work for this look. Take me Once you're done with that, you can put a little 
headband on top if you want to accessorize, but basically after that, you're done. Now this is just a simple outfit idea for Valentine's Day. It's a romper that looks like a dress with a huge cardigan on top and some black heels to go with it. Now this is just basically something cute to go on a date with your Valentine or just simply to go out with your friends that day. I hope you all have a lovely Valentine's Day and I'll see you soon. Bye!